Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games. And today it's back into Gary Grigsby's War in the Pacific AE, the granddaddy of them all. We have been taking a post-Christmas Boxing Day trip around the map just to check in. It was about time. Now, I would say a quick trip, and in this game, that usually means four or five hours. <laughs> We're on, I think, episode four or five of going around, just making sure we got everything the way we want it um, before a Japanese onslaught in 1942, which we are expecting. Let's go back to Nomaya just because I kind of sort of feel like I glossed over it. Uh, New Caledonia out here. And uh, let's take a look. Now, this base force, this American base force, we're actually going to move that down to Nomaya and march it down there. Why are we doing that? Because it has 30 aviation support already. Um, and so we need that where there's an airfield. Well, at Comac, there is no airfield. At Nomaya, I believe there's a level three airfield, and that's where we're gonna be bringing a lot of air assets. Now, this is already marched in one turn. It marched about 23 uh, miles, so, or 23, I don't know. Yeah, 23 miles. Um, and so it's gonna take about seven or eight days to get down there. Now, more efficiently would be to load it back up on this transport. Now we see the problem. So, you know, I made a little mistake here in the fact that we dropped off a bunch of stuff at Luganville and then we sent it on. And I sent this one to Comac, but on further review, this should be going down to Nomaya. I could load them back on. The problem is they're unloading now. They've got 8% left to go. It's going to take another turn to get them off. Then it would take two turns probably to get them back on. Then they'd have to sail down, unload. By that time, you're talking about uh, essentially seven or eight days. Six. It may be like one or two days faster to put them back on the transport, but we're just not going to do that. I'm going to have them march. I'm not expecting any Japanese attacks in the next you know, seven days. So we're going to march them down there. This transport will then go on to Brisbane. Along those same lines, so there's nothing else here. We've got, oh, we need a little supply out here at Comac. Uh, we got a little fuel along those same lines down actually at Nomaya. We have um, this U.S. artillery uh, regiment. Okay, that's great. That looks good. We've got Kiwi engineers. And when Kiwis engineer, they really send them 12 engineers here. So we've got, we're going to have them cranking away on fortifications, trying to build the airport. I think we're doing all three things. So it's nice to have these engineers here building that up. And then we have this free French command. Well, we're gonna do just the opposite with them. We're gonna have them march to the north part of the island to Comac and they will hold Comac. We're gonna bring American forces in here to Nomaya uh, and set up in a full big American base here. And so we can take the Free French, send them up to Comac. That should be fine. Uh, let's look here. We've got expanding, expanding, and building. That's what you want to see. So we're building up that port. Uh, this will be one of our main you know, places in the South Pacific is Nomaya. Uh, we want to get the port, the airfield, the fort as big as we can. We need to stock it full of supply to build all those things. Right now, we've got 14,000 and 12,000 fueled. Now, don't be fuel, <laughs> fueled by that. Don't be fueled by that. Don't be fooled either. Uh, because once the Japanese get down here and start kind of interdicting the port, uh, we need to have as much on here as we can. And so, you know, keep stuffing it as full as you can stuff it. Um, because... Again, you know, ultimately the Japanese are going to get down here and you're not going to be able to get stuff into it easily. So get as much in there now when it's essentially free to get out here and drop it off as opposed to when you're going to be taking losses. Um, we do have the Cruiser Australia out here providing some AA support. We do have a local mine sweep, of course, because it's a an important port. Uh, we've got the AK Kumailia that's sitting here. It is now unloaded out of Sydney. We've got that doing a CS for supplies. That's excellent. 
And we also have the Chevrolet, which is again, a minesweeper. We've now turned that into a Comac minesweeper. We're gonna send that up here since we already have one, or up there, I should say, since we already have one at Nomaya. So, okay, we're loading it full. Let's keep stocking it, stocking it, stocking it. Let's get aviation support down here because we are bringing American planes. They're out there somewhere in the Pacific. Where are you? Uh, they're out there and they will arrive in Nomaya. Uh, we want them to have aviation support when they do. Uh, Luganville, what the heck's going on at Luganville? We've got this destroyer circling the island looking for subs, which is always a good idea. We also have a uh, New Zealand cruiser. This is a light cruiser, the Leander, providing AA support, really good AA support, 212 for a light cruiser. Whoops get back over here that's the light cruiser leander it's just there for aa really uh it's sitting out here we've got it remaining on station its home port is back in auckland uh we have the uh ap's the transport that was dropping off the base force here it's only got about five percent left and then it'll go down to brisbane and we'll figure out what to do it's also got the cruiser the pensacola an american vessel and the niagara here is an auxiliary gunboat we just sent this along for the ride uh, because we need some of this over in Australia. So, you know, here it is. Uh, it's also dropped off a decent amount of supply. We'll need to get more out there uh, because, again, this will come under Japanese attention very soon. We have a two AKLs out here. Uh, they are unloading their CS to Luganville. We did this because these are our worst transport ships. They are one-point ships. Luganville is going to be uh, hotter than Hades with uh, Japanese sub and air activity eventually. And so we're sending these out here for a CS supply to Luganville out of Townsville. They're one-point ships. So, you know, sorry guys, but <laughs> we're putting you into the heat of the action. We have now dropped off the base force. This base force has aviation support. Uh, the, the American base forces generally have very good aviation support. This has very good. Now question whether we actually need it since there's no airfield here, really. Uh, we're going to try to build that. Uh, you know, we, we're expanding it, so maybe we can get a little air power up here. We're also building the fortifications. They do have, what, uh, well, no engineers now. Um, all right. I'd like them to have some engineers. We'll have to see what that's about uh we also have an artillery uh battalion that we dropped out off here so the americans like to bring a base force and artillery now this is not enough to guard this island uh we're gonna have to bring more here this base force we may actually transfer out to suva this is a little too uh too good <laughs> no no offense luganville residents but that's a little too good for espiritu santo um they just don't need that level of aviation support we may drop them down to uh, someplace like suva and put an australian base force out here but that's a decision we can kind of make you know as we go along here we'll look around for another one we have a base force here an australian one at um Oh, Afate, Afate, that's right. We dropped this off out here. It's got a couple of engineers. You know, this is kind of the unit, kind of base force you really want at Luganville, I feel like. Now, if we could build Luganville into a, an air, a nice size airfield, a, you know, level four or something, excellent. That's what we need. But, you know, that, we're a long ways betwixt here and there. So we may end up moving a base force like this, this Australian base force up here, move those guys down to Suva, which is probably the better idea. We're also dropping off some uh, supply out here. Now we did not turn, this is, these are our crappy little cargo. Now these are twos. Whoa. Okay. Uh, these guys are out of Brisbane. They're dropping off supply here at Afate. A decent amount. I mean, Afate, look out. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to uh, move these guys. I'm going to take them up to Luganville. Af that's plenty of supply for Afate. Let's, uh, let's take them to Luganville and have them drop off up there with this remaining supply. I just feel like that's too much to throw into Afate. We just do not need that much. 
uh, there. This is essentially just an outpost. Uh, you know, we're not going to be doing a whole lot there. It, it could, you know, potentially get up to a decent size airfield. Uh, but I would rather have, Lu if we're going to pick between the two, I'd rather it be at Luganville, not here at Afate. And they're going to need a lot of supplies if they're going to build anything here. But we may eventually, you know, tear that uh, base force out of there. Uh, the aforementioned Suva, um, let's look at that. Now, what do we got here? We got a cargo. Nope, this is a tanker. Oh, we already, we've looked at this like three times. Uh, that's going back to Sydney. Got it. Okay. Let's go out to Fiji here and you'll see now they do not, uh, okay. We've got recon here. This is, um, a DH-89 Dragon. Wow, okay, a Kiwi plane. Look at this thing. It looks kind of like a whale. Uh, but that is a straight-up recon. Generally, it, it looks like. Right now, we've got a training for naval search. Let's actually train. We don't even need to train that anymore. Why are we training that? Let's re uh, get off of training. Uh, right, okay. Let's go to recon. Um... Actually, we'll do naval search. Let's do naval search up to a 50 current altitude 7,000. That looks fine to me. We'll max range it. And it's just going to do a circular little path out here uh, at the blue line uh, for just general naval search. Uh, it's, they're at a, at a 54 experience. That's fine. This is out of naughty, by the way. Uh, you know, I like to say naughty. Uh, airfield level one, port level one, okay. They have a little bit of supply out here, not much fuel. Luckily, uh, planes run on supply. I always throw that out there because I people find that surprising at first. There is no... Hmm. All right, so we have an assault strength of 40 with this Kiwi Battalion. Base force... Uh, yeah, we do have some aviation support. Excellent. So there's 16 here... Uh, okay, there's also naval support here. Nice, this is a nice little unit. I like it. There's no ships in port. There are those three aircraft. Now let's look at Suva and compare and contrast what we have going on here. And I feel like this is why... Okay. Um... All right. This base force, what kind of aviation support do we have? They also have 16. So the Kiwis uh, come with 16. It looks like on a general, you know, their general base force comes with 16 aviation support. They've also got 12 engineers. That's nice. They've got 61 overall support. 14 of those are damaged. So that'll go to a 75. Uh, we've got that here. Uh, that all looks okay. Now, I believe we're bringing American, another American base force. What else do we have here? We've got the 29th New Zealand Battalion. Okay, it's got an assault strength of 46. Uh, we've also got the 34th New Zealand Battalion. That also has a, an assault strength in the high 40s of a 47. All right, we've got a lot of fuel here. Uh, Suva, we're going to be using as a re-fueling um, base. It's at 13,000. That's nice. Uh, supply may be a little low. Let's get some more supply out here. Port level three, we're building above the recommended. And here you see the airfield could go up to the maximum, really. It's a natural seven, could go higher. I uh, like that. Let's see what kind of planes we have out here. Um, we've got Hudson's, all right. We've got four of those. They are just running some basic naval search north of the island uh, in this range, you can see there. We've also got some Vincent's, all right. Vincent's are running naval search 50. Uh, what is their... Okay, they're running south of the island. The Hudson's are running north. Okay, I like that fine. We also have some float patrol out here, the S-19, out of Singapore. Uh, these are New Zealand planes. They're running ASW at a very tight range here. Uh, just off of Naughty, how many, what do we got? Oh, it's only two planes, so I guess that makes a little bit of sense. Uh, we'll be trying to get more and more and more planes in here. Arguably, this is the most important port until you get to Pearl Harbor, in my opinion. Uh, I, I know the Americans have Pago Pago, but this is a better port. It's a better airfield, I believe. Let's go look. Yeah, it's a better port, better airfield. Uh, the more we can get in here, the better. Well, 
luckily enough, we've got stuff coming in here. Again, I kind of want to take that American base force and move it down here. Um, let's, uh, we'll think about it. We, we've got a lot of American base forces, agen uh, you know, eventually. So, I mean, to the extent we don't move that one down here, we can get in another American base force up here. Let's see what ships are here. We've got a bunch of AKs unloading cargo Suva out of Brisbane. I like that. 58 uh, left to go. Oh, this is fuel, though. This is fuel. Okay, we've got that under human control. Sounds good. Uh, this is fuel Suva. So, we, man, we got a lot of fuel coming in here. Really, we should flip this over to cargo uh, next time. Uh, we've got local mine sweep here. Of course we do. We've got another one. Now, we may want to move one of these over to Naughty, right? Uh, we'll look at that in a second. Uh, we do have supply coming in here from Sydney. This is a CS Suva out of Sydney. These are kind of our worst, you know, kind of cargo. 10 speed, low endurance, 1715, 1750 capacity. Uh, we have these AKs uh, that are also CS Suva out of Sydney. Um, they're dropping off quite a bit. So they're, you know, they've only dropped off 4%. That supply will start going way up. I mean, that's another 5,800 we're talking about there. And so, yeah, okay, we're, we're doing a good job of getting this now supplied and fueled up, uh, which is very important. We do need to get American troops on the island, though. Uh, we need to get this beefed up as much as possible before the Japanese can get here. Um, again, we'll continue to think about these base forces. You know, building up Luganville is not one one hundredth as important as building up Suva. And so, you know, having this excellent base force out here, you know, uh, just question whether that's what we should be doing. So we'll, we'll look back at this uh, in the future. Um, okay, let's go out here to Savi. What do we have going on at Savi? We've got a detachment. This is a garrison force, essentially. It's only a level six. Uh, okay, we're bringing some supply in here. As you can see, the Georgian is dropping off supply. That's coming in out of Auckland. So we're running up from the south uh, to supply Savi. Um, nothing else really happening. Let's just make sure. Did I, I, did I look? Um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure. And you can check here on the icon. Just wanted to make sure there were no ships in port back there at Suva. Uh, let's look at Pago Pago. That's a fun one. Uh, we've got the light cruiser Trenton that's just kind of sitting here, uh, providing a little AA. Uh, it's only got 85. It's not great. 28 victory points. We've got to look out for those. Those are the dangerous ships. They're not very good ships, but they, they have a lot of victory points attached to them. Uh, so, you know, we may just go hide that at Pearl Harbor at some point. But for now, any kind of kind of, you know, unannounced uh, air visit by the Japanese, we at least could shoot back with something. We have the Iowan out here. It's almost completely uh, unloaded. That, again, is out of Auckland. Uh, we may set those up. This is, again, you know, one of this. Gosh, this is even worse. Uh, that's only got an eight speed. Would that have some damage? Nope, it doesn't. It's just the slowest ship in the game. It's got an eight speed up here dropping off at Pago Pago. And um, we'll probably set that on a CS at some point. It's two point ship. Uh, we've got no ships in port, of course. We do have one of the... American U.S. Navy base forces out here. You see it's got 15 aviation support, not the 30 that we saw. Was that an Army base force that we saw up here? And this is a Navy, or am I wrong around about that? Are they both? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so the U.S. Army base forces have a lot more aviation support, it seems. the Na They have 30. The Navy seemed to have 15. I seem to remember that from a prior playthrough, that it's really the army base forces that are your cream of the crop, if you will. Uh, the naval, you know, they've got more other kinds of stuff, right? Naval support, motorized support. The armies have a lot of aviation support. Just something to keep in mind. We do have some Marines that have led off out here. 7th Marine Defense Battalion, that's an artillery unit. It not only disrupts, it's actually got a, a true assault strength. And so that's nice to have out of your artillery. Uh, okay. Uh, we're loading this up with Americans. Um, let's see. Assault Strength 25 of the Samoan Marine Battalion Infantry Unit. Uh, that's a mouthful, but these guys are all Pago Pago. 
Okay, that's good. Uh, I have nothing much more to do here. We'll need to bring in more fuel just in case we do need to refuel something. Um, we don't, you know, I mean, we're dropping off this supply, but we don't have any other ships here, so we're going to have to keep that in mind. We do have a destroyer going around both Savi and Pago Pago. Uh, what do we have coming in here? Oh, these are one of those uh, kind of auxiliary you know, task forces that I sent out to all the islands. They've got, you know, an aircraft tender. They've got a miscellaneous. They've got another miscellaneous. Just in case we get low on ammo or something, uh, they're all coming into these different islands. Um, here we got a trans... Hey, hey, here we go. What do we have here? This looks like another base force. This is the Sea Detachment USN Port Service. That's got a lot of naval and some aviation support. Uh, these are engineers coming in to Pago Pago. Now, do we want them at Pago, or would we rather send those on to Suva? That is a great question. We only have a level one airfield here, a level two port. This has got both naval and motor or aviation support. Now, does it really have enough, though, naval support? Um, let's look back here. How much naval support does this uh, unit have? It has got 30. Ooh, that's not... Okay, we're going to keep that going into Pago. We'll put some engineers in there. Let's make sure that we're building at Pago, and I think we kind of want to build everything. Yep, we are. Okay, that all looks good. We need to get some more supply out here. That'll be important. Um, again, that's that tender. Are these... Nope, that's got no cargo. Well, it does, but it's going to Christmas Island, for goodness sakes. Um, that's out of L.A.? Am I missing something here? Those are some crazy waypoints. Um, oh, this came out of Australia. I, I was so confused. I was like, why, you know, it's an L.A. home port. Why did it come all the way out here? This actually came out of Sydney or Brisbane. And we're going to Christmas Island, which already has a lot of supplies. We're actually going to change that. We're going to turn that around and we're going to go into Pago. Okay, it's going to unload at Pago and just completely supply the ever-living heck out of Pago Pago. Um, you know, that'll be enough for Pago for quite some time. So we're going to turn that task force around, go to Pago. I was so confused. Uh, what I did is I sent it out of Sydney, let's say, and we're going to Christmas. Then we're going to go on to Los Angeles. Uh, but I was like, man, that's a weird waypoint to set. Uh, luckily, we did not, so I don't have to question my own sanity. Um Okay, so that's Pago. We'll get that nice and uh, stocked up. We got engineers coming in. Savi, we don't do as much with. I mean, it's, you know, it's not, you know, any worse than Pago Pago, but Pago's an American base. We're going to bring the Americans in there. Suva, we need to build up more. Okay, that, my take on what I've seen out here so far, we need to think about the base force out here at Luganville, and then we need to build up Numaya, Nomaya and Suva even more, not necessarily with uh, supplies and fuel, they're, we're doing okay there, uh, we do need to get more troops out there. Let's go down to New Zealand and take a quick spin again, now I know that I, I did cover this, but I just want to make sure that um, everything looks good here. Uh, base force down here. It's got naval support, regular support. Got a few engineers. Okay, that all looks fine. Dunedin's going to be a base force. Greymouth is going to be a base force. Um, Christchurch. Now we looked at that. I just, you know, I again, I know I looked at it, but sometimes I like to get these refreshed in my mind. Uh, we talked about Blenheim. I know that. Let's look at Wellington one more time. That all looks good. It's a strong force, stronger than what we have at Auckland. Uh, we've got those level bombers going out. Base force there. Base force at Gisborne and uh, an armored unit. Then we have Auckland. I just want to make sure we don't have a lot of things just sitting around at Auckland. I feel like maybe we might. We've got things stopping by here, right? This is going out to Pago Pago. We've set that at a CS for fuel, uh, again to Pago, this time a CS for supplies. Wow, we're really going to get that beefed up. Why don't we change those? 
Why don't we change those? Because we changed the other one, and let's have them go into Suva, okay? Uh, we'll, we'll move to Suva, and we'll change this to a CS to Suva. There we go. Um, and we'll change this one, turn that off, set it to Suva, and we'll go stock up Suva a little bit more. Okay, that looks good. Now then, we've got uh, the French that are going out to Tahiti. I still don't know why I'm not refreshing there. There we go. Actually, maybe it just did. Uh, minimal refuel, because it takes 61 to get out there, right? And we've only got 100 endurance. And eh, it can do a minimal refuel fuel out of Tahiti. It's not ideal, but that's fine. This also, so CS Tahiti for fuel, CS for supplies. That works. Uh, we've got the AP Katumba here. It's got nothing really to take anywhere. We could put more on Suva from down here, right? Or maybe Wellington. I, don't, I just don't feel like we need this much stuff down at Wellington. Um, I could be wrong about that. But I think they're maybe all restricted. We, we would have to buy one out. These are like 16 points, 12 points. I'm talking assault value here. How much would this infantry brigade, co brigade cost? 372. Okay. Uh, I'd rather not do that. Um, 17, 44. He's completely restricted. This is not. How much would that cost? 76 points. Uh, okay, that's something to think about in the future. Uh, also, up here at Auckland, maybe we'll think about something. I'm not guessing we're going to be getting attacked in New Zealand anytime soon. I guess it's possible. Now, you see we're uh, coming out of Sydney here with some stuff for Auckland and dropping it off, and then they can take it up to the islands. It's just nice to spread some stuff around. We have the CL Achilles here that's along with this armored merchant cruiser. I think we decided last time we didn't really know what to do with these guys, so we're just kind of letting them sit here for a moment. Local mine sweep, some more transports. They're actually, we sent them to Los Angeles last time. Okay, um, back beyond Pago, we have this Rorotonga, and we sent this Fritch unit out here. It's only got a six, but hey, why not? We gave it plenty of supply. As you can see, we, we've re supply even more supply here. The AKL Kalua is out here unloading more supply. Uh, they should be good till the end of the war, damn it. Um, we'll have to come back and look at them from time to time. Where are these guys going? You, whoa, wow, wow, wow. That's Cargo Sydney coming out of the United States, Los Angeles, nope, San Francisco. It says 42,000 of supply coming over here. That is a big task force. I don't care how you measure it. That one is uh, coming into Pago. Right, that's the one we turned around from Christmas Island. Now we've got other stuff coming from Suva. We'll be fine there. Um. Let's look at Tahiti, which I am trying to build up a little bit. You see the Free French are out here. Of course, they are. Uh, they've got a little naval support, a little aviation support. Okay, the naval support's probably more important down here. They've got a little assault strength. Uh, we're building up their supply a little bit. We'll want to put more on this island, I do believe. Uh, Tahiti, I don't think they're restricted to the amount of troops, are they? Oh, they are. No, they're not. It's unlimited. Okay, well, that's good. I was I was suspecting, actually, that they were limited. Uh, so, okay, Tahiti unlimited. We'll start trying to build up this stuff uh, since they do have some su support. We're building the fortifications. I kind of want to re I kind of want to build everything. We probably need a base force down here, an American base force in Tahiti. I don't believe on the bottom of the map here we've got any other units, um, and it, it appears that's true. Uh, this is headed back to what appears to be LA. Yep, sure is. Uh, I believe this may be already dropped off in Australia and is on its way back. Uh, let's hope that's true. Um, Alrighty, moving on then. Let's see. So Tahiti, there was nothing in the port. Okay, just making sure we've got nothing out here. Okay, so think base force Tahiti, and then also think about that base force in Luganville. Just taking mental notes. Uh, what do we got here? 
Oh, wow. This is headed to Suva. This is all of our like tenders and stuff like that. We're actually just taking the destroyer there probably. We may also leave a submarine tender potentially and a destroyer tender. This other stuff, eh, maybe also the aircraft. <laughs> okay. The more I go on, maybe we will leave some of this stuff. But like the ammunition tenders, you don't need that in Suva. Uh, we will send those on to Australia. That's really where they're headed. That's a big uh, task force. This one's coming up and around. Aha! Well then, now this is set for Pago Pago. But as you can see, we have base forces in here. Right, right, right. This is a U.S. Army base force. This actually only has the 16 aviation support and 50 regular support. Okay, interesting. What else do we have in here? Uh, so that's the 112th. This we may send on to Suva. Uh, the Tyler has got the 111th, which has got 100 naval support. Holy moly. Okay, uh, let's change this. Uh, let's send this on to Suva. Perfect. Uh, Suva is going to be our main port out here. You know, if you look at it, uh, so he's got 100 naval support there, right? Pago has only got a level two port. Suva already has a level three. Now Pago, um, yeah, only has a natural two as well. So they have natural twos, but Suva's already at a three. Let's send all of that up there. Wow, I like finding that one just kind of out here, you know, floating around. Um, what else do they have? They've got construction, infant, oh shit, they've got the 34th infantry. That's right, that's got a 60. Uh, excellent, that's an awesome unit to get into Suva. As a matter of fact, I'm almost tempted to change the waypoint there. Let's be a little more careful with all that. Um, yeah, let's, let's take you south here of the Tonga Islands, just to be a little safer, just to be a little safer. Now, Wow, we don't even have a destroyer with this group. That's bold indeed. Let's go try to find a destroyer. <laughs> Let's remember, what is this, Task Force 270? Okay, they're headed back. No destroyer there. I think in that tender group we had a destroyer, right? Um, Not you. Whoops. Is it? No. Yes. Okay, let's have them go. This is also going to Suva. Let's have them meet Task Force 270. So they get a destroyer in there. Yes. And let's have them merge. Uh, merge. Yes. Merge. Incompatible ships. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see why, why that would be incompatible. Oh, you know what I may just do? I'll take the tenders out. Or not the tenders out. I'll take the um, destroyer out. Done. Bagley. Done. We'll now form new task force. ASW. Done. Bagley. There we go. Done. All right, now he's going to go meet this uh, task force. Meet task force 270. All right, and let's merge. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, cool. And then we'll take these tenders. They will um, get rid of this. Cancel meeting. We'll cancel that uh, Zoom call. Uh, and let's have them go on to Suva just by themselves. I would much rather lose tenders than all of that transport. Now, ideally, I would have destroyers with both of them, but, you know, we don't live in an ideal world, gentlemen. Oh, uh, where is this going and what is it? I think I know where it is. The second Marine. Now, these are the guys that are going out. We've got them set for Luganville. Uh, second Marine. That's kind of bold. I mean, we're sending some American Marines out there. Let's do it, I guess. Uh, we're also sending these guys to Nomaya. These are the fighters, uh, right? Yeah, the P-39 
Era Cobra is headed out there. Um, we've got them on a wide, long arc here. As you can see, they will eventually emerge in Nomaya. It's going to take them a little, a little, little while to get out there, but that's why I'm sending the aviation sport down there. Again, I don't have destroyers with them. Uh, that is not good practice. So let's go find some destroyers or a destroyer if we can't look at all of these AKs. Okay. Um, let's go back here and make sure I know these are the, yeah, these are the 31st fighter group. Second Marines, they'll be all right. This is Task Force 271. So 270 and 271 living dangerously. We got to get some more destroyers in this mess. Um, oh, and we've got first U.S. Amphibious. This is the one I was talking about going to Lunga. I think that's too bold, quite frankly. Um, these guys, I'm actually going to have go to Suva. We'll put some more U.S. Marines in there. Let's do that. Uh, change my waypoint. It changed my waypoint. Okay. Um, let's use a new waypoint, waypoint one, and let's get you going out and around Tahiti and then up. So we'll put, uh, first, what was that? First Marine Corps, right? Um, first U.S. Amphibious. Okay. We're going to put them on Suva as well. As you can tell, I'm really trying to stock up Suva. Can I find a destroyer out here? That's the question. This is all those AKs. Holy mackerel. Let's hope none of this stuff gets hit. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy, we've got a lot more coming. This is all coming to Nomaya, 161st. We do have an AVD, at least, with them, the Ballard. Uh, it's still not enough. You know, you just don't have enough destroyers at the start. But we are, and look at all these tankers by themselves. That's going out to L.A. We just don't have enough destroyers. But, man, this is making me nervous. Here is a DD with other tankers on its way to Brisbane. Okay. Um, destroyers, where are you? Uh, two U.S. Oh gosh, here's more fighters going to Nomaya. Um, this has a merchant cruiser with it, but again, it doesn't have any ASW. Let's just hope that they're not running any submarines out here, uh, because that could be a disaster. What do we have here? Tanker as vault. He's not a very good tanker, so we've kind of sent him by himself. Um... The reed is with these tankers. Eh. All right. Well, we're going to have to live dangerously. I could sit, take some destroyers out of Pearl and have them try to catch up here. Um, yeah, that's the two U.S. fighter that came out of Seattle. Well, I don't know if those destroyers could get down here in time, quite frankly. Uh, that's part of the problem. Okay, that's more unescorted tankers. Now, before you guys yell at me, when all these took off, we just didn't have enough destroyer co coverage. Uh, but I, I, now this has got me feeling squirrely. Um, okay, that's the 103rd, 13th, I mean. That's actually going to Brisbane, all the way to Brisbane. Do I have, I know I have extra destroyers up here that I get. Where are you going? Why are you going that way into Pago? I don't like that in the least. Oh, it's these, uh, eh, that's fine. That's fine. We still hold Canton, so we're, we'll just do that. That's fine. Um, these destroyers are running all kinds of ASW here. Hey, hey, hey. uh, what's your deal? Why are you sit just sitting here? The AO Rampoa. Oh, I brought this in as like a refueling gig. Let's put this into Christmas and let's have it um, not unload its cargo. So it'll just sit here at Christmas Island um, and remain on station uh, so that we have some fuel. It's not going to unload there in case we need to refuel something. All right. Oh, these are those AD. Ah, crap. That one doesn't have... It does have some anti-sub. Okay, so the Thornton, that's a speed 27, by the way. It doesn't have much endurance. Let's break it out anyway. We'll take out the Thornton. Okay. It's got a lot of speed. 
All right. And the Thornton is going to go meet Task Force 271. That's 270. 121. 271. There we go. It's going to go meet 271 and merge with that. How fast does it get there? Um, now it's showing it's not going to have enough fuel, but it should have enough fuel to catch up. And then it can, it's going to meet it all the way down here. This is like 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, it can get there. It can get there. It, it's got it's got 83. It'll get there, and then it can get some fuel from the transports. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, on we go. On we go. We've got a lot of stuff coming in there. Um, to Suva, to Pago, to Nomaya, we've got planes, ships, automobiles, trains. I don't know. It's it's mass transportation. All of this stuff is headed back. Not that one. That's the one that we're actually. Gosh, look at all this going to Nomaya. Wow, that's going to be exciting. Um, right, we've got more. We've got more. We're out here by Christmas. These are all heading back and forth. As you can see, if you play as the Japanese, send your subs out this way uh, <laughs> because there's a lot going on. These are all going back to the U.S. West Coast uh, for the most part. What do we have here? Uh, oh, there we go. A DD and an AO. It's headed to Tahiti with fuel. And I'll... Is that right? Why did this not load up? Damn it. Ugh. It didn't load before it left. Gosh, that pisses me off. Um, we got to send this back to Pearl Harbor to load up. Well, if we're going to do that, let's form a new task force. ASW will take the Cushing out. All right. Done. And we'll send the Cushing to go meet up with one of these task forces as well. Maybe this one? Uh, 99 yeah all right and he doesn't have enough quite to meet up with well he has enough to meet up with them but to not get to the destination we'll meet that task force uh, we'll meet that task force not that one not that one those are the tankers it's this guy we'll meet task force 99 We'll merge with that. All right, we got destroyers going with all the transports now. Uh, better late than never, I say. We've got mine layers out here, you can see. We've got Johnston we still need to look at. Let's just make sure there's nothing back here that I'm not thinking of. Um, all of these probably heading back to the U.S. West Coast. Yep, looks that way. Um all right, I'm going to call this one an episode. When we come back next time, we're going to look at Christmas Island, Palmyra. I'm going to continue looking at these out here and just make sure we've got all of the destroyer support we need. We'll also look at Canton. We'll look at Johnston. Uh, so these islands, and we'll get up into Pearl Harbor. We'll also go over and look at the Panama Canal. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. As always, this is Strategy Gaming Dojo. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.